everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design, and I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day today, and I wanted to share with you a quick video on how I make these cute little doily envelopes. Now, I have them in two sizes, so what you're going to need are some doilies. Got these at the dollar store. I have them in 6 inch and 10 inch for the two different size doilies, and some velvet ribbon just the kind that's in the floral department and then some cardstock uh, that's inside here whatever color you like I kind of like that ivory because it shows through the lace nice so some ivory cardstock a white cardstock or whatever color you like red even and the first thing we're going to need to do is to make some templates I just used the packaging material from the inside of the doily packages because it was you know, nice lightweight cardboard. Now for your 10 inch doily, we're going to make a template that is five inches by four and a quarter inches. And then for the cardstock piece, you want it four and three quarters by four and one quarter and use a corner rounder um, or a corner chomper, or I just kind of traced a little corner on there and cut it out so that that's nice and rounded so corners don't get caught uh, on the doily when you're trying to put that into the envelope. For the six inch doily, you will need a template that is three inches by two and a half inches. And the inside piece is two and seven eighths inches by two and three eighths inches. Again, that small piece will be for the um, enclosure card and needs to be rounded. Okay, when you're making this piece of your template, you're gonna wanna fold it in half and make a tiny notch right there that shows you that that is the center of your template. Okay, once we have our templates all set, I'm going to work with the 10 inch doily and we want to actually turn it upside down so that the point of the heart is at the top. We want to line up our notch with that point on the heart and kind of center that template. Fold up the bottom. Make a nice sharp crease, as sharp as you can get without tearing your doily. They are delicate. Fold in each side. Open it up and fold down the point. Be careful to not let your template move around too much or at all, really. Okay, now for the bottom part, I'm going to bring in our two sides, and then we want to bring this edge up to just below the bottom of your template. Fold that corner up. You don't want it right exactly to the edge of the template because you want to have some room for this to fold upwards. And you want to do that also on the other side. Again, just below the edge of your template. Let's see if I can pick this up and show that to you. So you can see that the edge of the template is there and my fold is just below it, leaving a tiny little bit of space there. Okay, if you can fold that up to give it a little crease again on the bottom, that'll be good. You definitely want to be able to see your crease lines once you unfold this all. Okay, make sure you have them up here too. Nice sharp crease lines again. Okay, now we're going to trim away some of the excess that's in the corners where our folds are. And I've drawn this on this one so that you can see exactly where I'm cutting, especially on this part of the heart, which is the bottom of our envelope. We have several folds here. We have one, two, three, four folds, but we're just going to cut these outer creases to remove that. And then we're going to cut here and here to remove those as well.
Then we're going to fold our inside, our side pieces to the inside, and this upwards. And we would put some glue on these little edges here. I like to use this Tombow Mono Adhesive. It has a nice small point to it. And I just kind of see where there's solid space overlapping another solid space so that I'm not getting too much glue going through to the inside. And it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. And then you just want to make sure that it's not sticking to the inside at all. Once all of that dries, all you need is a little something to put on the flap. I've made some cute little embellishments and I got the idea for these on Little Hot Tamale, her um, YouTube site, her YouTube channel. Um, she did a adorable little embellishments, handmade embellishments, and I will leave a link to that down below. For the smaller ones, you can also just punch a heart, put a little bit of washi tape and some bling, and that would be all set with that. And this is great to have a small bit of washi tape underneath, since washi is not terribly sticky, but it's just enough to hold it shut. And you can either round the edges. I've done the fishtail banner on that one, a little pointed banner on this one. And this one, I think I'm just going to kind of round it off. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit. And I would put that there so that it overlaps and holds that closed. And then I would use a bit of um, an adhesive that will actually work on the back, this kind of vinyl backing on that, that um, velvet ribbon. It's kind of an indoor-outdoor ribbon, so it's vinyl on the back, and the Tombow glue does not work very well on slick surfaces. So I would use something like a glossy accents or um, a glue dot or something to that effect. And then we would have something like that. And then this just pops off. It doesn't damage the base of the doily at all, but holds it just in place, just enough. And then you would take your rounded edge template, trace it onto your cardstock, cut that out, and it's ready to go inside. Like that. The nice round corners edges don't catch on the inside of the doily at all, so no harm in, no worry about uh, tearing it, and then you're all set. And the small ones are done exactly the same, and that's it. And then you have something to either give to a valentine, put in your flip books and your junk journals, or whatever, wherever you want to put a pretty lacy doily envelope. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.